You know, there's more than one way to do weight-bearing exercise, and today we're going to show you a whole new variation on the theme. We're here at a local bench press competition, and we're going to meet and cheer on some of the competitors. So grab your weight belt and let's go. The recipe for strong bones has a few simple ingredients. It's eating the right foods, taking supplements when you're not, and doing weight-bearing exercise. Now weight-bearing exercise is anything that places weight or stresses on the long bones of the body like those in the arms and the legs. Now weight-bearing exercise would include yoga, weight machines, and dumbbells, as well as walking, running, and most aerobic classes. Choosing an appropriate type of weight-bearing exercise will depend on your personal level of fitness. For instance, if you're a new exerciser, then walking for 10 to 20 minutes at a modest pace three times a week would be appropriate for you. However, if you're very fit, then running for 30 to 40 minutes at, say, six times a week is what's appropriate. For those of you just starting out, you'll want to work your way up slowly to more advanced exercise programs to avoid injuries like stress fractures, bursitis, and tendonitis. All right, enough already of the pep talk. Let's have some fun learning about weight-bearing exercise. All across America, neighborhood gyms hold competitions to keep their members pumped and motivated. But don't be fooled, weightlifting isn't just for the big guys, it's for girls like us too. I mean, check out our friend Heather. This is her first time competing and the bar she's lifting alone weighs 45 pounds. Here's Jackie checking in. My age? 22. No, 32. 32. <laughs> we caught up with Michelle, a four-time competitor. Okay. I'm going to catch up with Michelle over here in between sets. Now, Michelle's also competing at the bench press competition. Yes, I am. Is this your first year competing here? No, it'll be my fourth time. Wow, now have you won past years, or how have you done past years? Yes, I have. In 2001, I placed first. Wow. And uh, in 99, I placed first, and in 97, I placed third. Wow, so you haven't competed in a couple of years. Right. Mm -hmm. well, what made you decide to try again? Well, I really spent a lot of time uh, working out this, this year, and I figured since I was in such good shape, I would go for it. A special diet or anything? Chicken, fish, and salads. Okay. You know, you cheat once in a while, but you know, <laughs> stick to your basics, stick to your low fat. Okay. Do you count calories? Do you just think about how much food you're eating? I count fat. You count fat grams or fat grams? Yes. And what's your what's your guideline in a day? What's your goal? Well, I try to keep it under 20 grams a day. And that's pretty good. That's on an average day. Okay. Now you'll do that consistently? Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Do you find that difficult or just a... At times, sure. Especially if you want to go out and eat something really greasy. Mm -hmm. But you give in. You know, you have, you know, always have to give yourself a little indulgence. Now, um, are you the only person in your household? Are there other children, spouses? Uh, is there anybody else that... My brother. My brother actually was the one who got me started with weightlifting. Okay. And... Um, um, my son is a black belt in Taekwondo, so yeah, we're doing well. <laughs> now, is either of them here to cheer you on today? Or? No, my, my son is too young and my brother is working, so ah. that's okay. My mother said she would stop by. So. <laughs> <laughs> now, have you gotten your mom interested in doing any of this? My mother, always she always kept herself trim all, all her life. Uh, she did aerobics and, you know, step and... Walking. Yeah, she walks. She's older now, so she walks a lot. And uh, yeah, she still looks wonderful. Now, how many days a week will you come here? I usually work out five times a week, okay. but it's quick. I do it at lunchtime in work, actually. And then on the weekends, I come here, or at night, I come here if I need additional workout. Wow. Um, I try to make it here on Saturdays, definitely, because I have good classes here on Saturdays. So, um, what kind of classes will you take? 
I like uh, body shaping, body shaping classes where you tone, you, mm -hmm. you focus on toning, and I try to get a little bit of cardio in them. Um, should do more cardio. Uh, shouldn't we all? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, we should. Yes, we should. Very good. Well, I'll let you get back to your, to your warming up, and uh, good luck. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. I also got the chance to meet a couple of para-athletes. Wow. Now, how long have you been practicing? I mean, for this, how long have you been working out for this? For this competition, for not, I mean, a couple months, but I've been training for about 15 years. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. You guys compete in the Para Olympics? Or? Yes. The Para Olympics. So we, I was in the trials in uh, 95 to the 96 Para Olympics. And he was there, too. That's how we met. He's from Nigeria, Africa. Yeah. And, and you live here now? Yes. yes. Wow. 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 Now, are you competing? Yes. Are you really? Okay. I'm actually trying to... Um, a crazy storm today because I, I haven't been working out. They told me of the competition and I wanted to come and support, but for some reason I said, hey, let me see. <laughs> I know I'm still going to win because, I mean, I'm not being cocky about it, but the thing is, it's in the blood. <laughs> AC has a 385 bench and he's only 190 pounds. He's paralyzed from his waist down. You really can do a 385 bench? I've done more than You've that. You've done more than that. Yeah, so I just haven't worked out. What a bunch of nice people. Time. Well, you know what, I think I'll hang on and do that one a little bit later. But in the meantime, why don't you follow me back to my place, and I'm going to teach you how to do a bench press at home. You know, a bench press is a great exercise for your chest muscle and this little piece right underneath there. Now, I'm going to show you a basic, simple way to do a bench press. Now, it gets its name because we do it on a bench. Now, I'm not fortunate enough to have a weight bench, so instead I'm just going to use my step. You could use a sturdy coffee table. Basically, what you want is something that's about your body width across, so as you do the movement, you get clearance with your elbows. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your dumbbells, and you're going to lay flat back on the bench. Okay, now you want to make sure there's, there's room also for your feet, because what happens is as your feet go up on the bench, your lower back gets supported by the bench. When you put your feet on the floor, boop, the back tends to arch. So that's why I teach people how to do it with your feet on the bench. Head supported, low back is going to be pressed into the bench, so that's being supported. And you're going to have a dumbbell in each hand and just press straight on up. Now you can also turn them almost like you've got a bar in your hand and they just go straight across. And you can also angle them at a 45 degree angle. These are all just simply variations on a theme of the same exercise. Now what I've got here are five pound dumbbells. You can work your way up if you wanted to tone and shape. Work your way up to about 12 pounds in each hand. And of course, if you're looking for some sports specific training or a bench press competition, you can absolutely go heavier. Remember, this is an exercise, two sets, about 10 to 12 repetitions each set, two or three times a week, and you're gonna be on your way to one great looking chest. Drop and give me 20. Bringing fitness to you, we'll be right back. Capture all the excitement, the memories, and the tradition. On-air video will produce a professional high-quality digital video of your child's bar or bat mitzvah. For a free video sample or to reserve your special date, contact On-Air Video at 215-885-2828. That's 215-885-2828. Few things will impact your life like buying or selling your home, which is why you need a professional like Eileen McCafferty Colpe to do it right. As a lifelong resident of Eastern Montgomery County, Eileen is your neighbor in the business, knowledgeable and respected in the community. She will advise you on the best time to buy or sell and will always negotiate to your best advantage. If you're ready to take that next step, contact Eileen directly at 215-620. 3302. Attention business owners, imagine your message here. 
Now you can advertise on Bringing Fitness to You at extremely competitive rates. Bringing Fitness to You is locally produced and reaches over 350,000 cable subscribers in eastern Montgomery County, Philadelphia, and Cherry Hill. If you're interested in advertising on this program, call 215-885-2828. Building nice, strong bones is more than just weight-bearing exercise. It's also about good, sound nutrition. And we're here today with Sally Aronston, who's going to explain to us how we build good, strong bones using food. That's right, Sharon. Basically, we, it's a recipe. We need to get in calcium and vitamin D every day. Now, both of those ingredients, calcium and vitamin D. That's right. Um, calcium is not just an important mineral for your bones, it's also an important mineral for your heart to be beating. So our body is smart, it's created a bank in order to have the appropriate amount of calcium. But that bank is our bones. So we store all this calcium in our bones, if we don't take in enough in a day, then our body draws it from our bones, giving us a calcium depletion in our bones, which is osteoporosis. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So we need to get in, women need to get in 1,200 to 1,500 milligrams of calcium a day. Okay. Now that sounds like a lot, um, but not so hard? Well, that's why I brought these foods out, because I thought we could play with how we could get that in in a day. Oh, okay. Okay. So here are some sources of calcium and vitamin D. We've got cheese. Mm -hmm. This is about two ounces of cheese. Okay. So that's about three nice sized thick slices. Right. Okay. And this is, I thought, a good serving for a cheese sandwich or if you want to add to pasta or a salad. Um, and this is 600 milligrams right here. Wow, so that's, a, almost, that's about a half a day's supply right there, just that's two right. ounces of cheese. That's right. Wow, okay. Add in a cup of milk, eight ounces, mm -hmm. uh, to your morning breakfast, and that's another 300 milligrams. Okay, so so far between the cheese and the milk, we're up to 900 milligrams. Right. Okay. Yogurt. I mm -hmm. brought these yogurts. Now these are snack size yogurts. So okay. this is only four ounces. Um, a typical portion size of yogurt is about eight ounces. Okay. But I thought these were good for snacks, for on the go type of thing. And each one has 150 milligrams. Okay. So these two would equal one serving right. of yogurt. Right. Um, 150 each, 150 milligrams of calcium each. We've got our milk, we've got our cheese. So these things right here total 1,200 milligrams of calcium right there. That's right. So that's our minimum in a day. Right. Okay. What other sources are there? Well, I brought out this cottage cheese, another okay. snack-sized uh, little thingy that I thought was good. Okay. Um, and some maybe less obvious sources of calcium are broccoli or tofu or ice cream for dessert. Because those are all good calcium sources. All good calcium sources. Not as well, not as good as these but they definitely add some calcium and might help us get to that ultimate goal of 1,500 milligrams. Okay. Now let me ask you, let's just say I'm looking to trim some calories so mm -hmm. I am not adding things like cheese to my diet. Mm -hmm. What about supplements? Um, what are your thoughts on those? Supplements like um, the kind that you get in the drugstore, just the calcium pills or the Viactive chocolate chews or mm -hmm. uh, also another supplement, what I think is a supplement, is the calcium fortified orange juice. Oh, wow. So if you see, say, breakfast cereals or the orange juice or any of these things that say, now with calcium, right, right. that's a supplement. That's right. not a, it, although it's a food, it's not considered a natural no. calcium source. And that, like some that. people don't understand that. Yeah, that is a supplement hmm. because it's not naturally occurring in the food. Hmm. And what I think about these supplements is it's definitely better than nothing. Mm -hmm. um, and if you have a hard time getting this in, I would suggest you do that. But it's not as is not absorbed as well as mm -hmm. getting calcium from cheese and from milk. Okay. So our first choice is obviously foods. Right. Second choice would be uh, the foods that have uh, the supplements added, calcium and vitamin D added. Right. Or just going out and buying exactly. a multivitamin that's got all these things in it. That's right. All right. So the secret to building strong bones is our weight-bearing exercise and our natural, first choice, natural sources of calcium and vitamin D, and we put it all together and we're gonna have ourselves one strong set of healthy bones.
Before the competition begins, the head judge goes over the rules. Lift it out, bring it down. I gotta see a pause. Once I see a pause, main two commands: press, rack. Press, rack. Are two commands you wanna hear from me? After the lift. Now, let the competition begin. And it's good. And it's good. Made it look easy. Stack it somebody. Give me a second. Rush. Rack. 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 And it's good. When was the last time you saw this level of concentration that didn't involve a video game? And it's good! Michelle, stop by you next one. There's an old saying among weightlifters, which is, no pain, no gain. Now sure, as you advance in your physical fitness program, you'll be challenging your body more and more. But there's a difference between strenuous exercise and exercise that's just plain painful. When you begin to feel pain, don't feel as if you have to fight through it. Pain is the body's way of telling you you're doing your exercise incorrectly or your muscles are just being overtaxed. If you begin to feel pain, Listen to your body and stop. Sit up straight. Bringing fitness to you. We'll be right back. Who could have predicted then what the future would hold? Which is all the more reason to plan ahead. Don't leave your fate up to family and well-meaning relatives. A video will and video living will can make your wishes clearly known. Don't wait. Call us for more information at 215-885-2828. Capture all the excitement, the memories, and the tradition on-air video will produce a professional high-quality digital video of your child's bar or bat mitzvah. For a free video sample or to reserve your special date, contact on-air video at 215-885-2828. That's 215-885-2828. Trying to get in shape? Philly Fit Magazine, your local health and fitness connection. Diets, nutrition, workouts, beauty tips, calendar of events, even healthy horoscopes. To subscribe or advertise your business with us, visit www.phillyfitmagazine.com or call 866-PHILL-FIT. P-H-I-L-F-I-T. Attention business owners, imagine your message here. Now you can advertise on Bringing Fitness to You at extremely competitive rates. Bringing Fitness to You is locally produced and reaches over 350,000 cable subscribers in eastern Montgomery County, Philadelphia, and Cherry Hill. If you're interested in advertising on this program, call 215-885-2828. There you are.
Hey, if you enjoy our program, let us know. We'd love to get your comments, questions, and suggestions. Email us at bfty at yahoo.com. Everyone agrees that it's very important to take in 1,200 milligrams of calcium in a day for good bone health. Now, some great sources of calcium are cheese, milk, and your dark green vegetables. Now, for those times that we don't eat the right foods, taking calcium, calcium supplements is absolutely a great idea. Now, even then, sometimes it becomes difficult to remember to take your calcium. So what I've done, so I never forget to take it, is I stash it in various places. Now, the first place where I stash, stash my calcium is in my junk food cabinet. Now, take a look at this. These are the calcium chews. They're like candy. So whenever I'm in the mood for something sweet and I'm in my junk food cabinet, guess what I come across? And each one of the, these represents about 500 milligrams of calcium. And I think they also stick in D and K in this for better calcium absorption as well. Let me show you some other places where I stash my calcium. Here we are inside my van. I spend a lot of time here. So guess what? That's where I keep some calcium. Right here in the glove box, the hard chewable ones, the ones that get stuck in your teeth. So when I'm stuck in traffic, I think about taking these. And I've got one more place where I stash my calcium. And here's another place where I stash some calcium, a place where I spend a lot of time, my desk. And I don't just stash the calcium in the junk drawer here. No, no. I stash it in a really good drawer in between the stapler and the scotch tape. So I'm always putting my hand in the drawer. And here these are. Now, these tablets actually are about 400 milligrams each. So you would need about three over the course of a day to equal your 1,200 that you need to take in. So I want you to remember, it's not about doing it perfect. It's about doing it just a little bit better than you are right now. This might look really strange, but I'm fighting osteoporosis with weight-bearing exercise. Osteoporosis is an actual disease that affects millions of men and women. It's a thinning of the bone, or basically a weakening of bone strength. And while there's no cure, there's plenty we can do to help prevent it. The first is taking your supplements. Calcium, along with your vitamin D, they work in conjunction with each other. There's also plenty of prescription medicines that are on the market that help build bone. And my personal favorite, weight-bearing exercise. Weight-bearing exercise includes walking, aerobics, weightlifting, but unfortunately not bicycling or swimming. And it's been shown that you need to stand at least three hours a day to help stop some of this bone loss. So don't take osteoporosis sitting down. Stand up to it at least three hours a day. I'm Sharon Pack, bringing fitness to you. Yo, McDonald's, supersized this. In September 2002, fast food giant McDonald's promised to reduce the trans fat in its french fries by the following February. That deadline is now more than two years old, and as of today, McDonald's fries, nuggets, and other McFair are as fat-laden as ever. It seems the reformulation of their cooking oils altered the state of their fries. Nice work, McGuys and gals. Lose weight and your teeth. Dentists at the University of Maryland recently found that the flavor-enhancing acids found in many diet sodas may be more harmful to your teeth than sugar. Furthermore, non-cola sodas like Sprite, Mountain Dew, and many canned iced teas contained higher amounts of this acid, as much as two to five times as much as darker colored sodas. However, root beer, which has the fewest additives, was found to be the safest on your teeth. I don't like Mondays. You know, singing was not on my resume. OK. Well, if Mondays get you down, maybe it's because you've packed on a few extra pounds over the weekend. According to a University of North Carolina study, most people consume 82 more calories on weekends than they do during the week. Quick math tells us that's 13,000 calories, or 3 and a half extra pounds a year. Reported in the Journal of Obesity Research, the article concludes the effects of weekend days on nutrient intake to be substantial. 
and should be considered in future clinical and population-based interventions. Well, there go the tailgaters. And that's all the news that's fit. Thanks for watching. Bringing fitness to you. We'll be right back. Few things will impact your life like buying or selling your home, which is why you need a professional like Eileen McCafferty Colpe to do it right. As a lifelong resident of Eastern Montgomery County, Eileen is your neighbor in the business, knowledgeable and respected in the community. She will advise you on the best time to buy or sell and will always negotiate to your best advantage. If you're ready to take that next step, contact Eileen directly at 215-620-620. 3302. Capture all the excitement, the memories, and the tradition. On Air Video will produce a professional high quality digital video of your child's bar or bat mitzvah. For a free video sample or to reserve your special date, contact On Air Video at 215 885 2828. That's 215 885 2828. Attention business owners, imagine your message here. Now you can advertise on Bringing Fitness to You at extremely competitive rates. Bringing Fitness to You is locally produced and reaches over 350,000 cable subscribers in Eastern Montgomery County, Philadelphia, and Cherry Hill. If you're interested in advertising on this program, call 215-885-2828. You know, I want to thank all my friends here at the Fitness Center for bringing us on board and being part of the bench press competition. We learned some new things, we made some new friends, and you know what? I had a lot of fun today, and I hope you did too. Well, my first lift is 285. Wow. I could probably go to 305, so I don't know. I wish I had testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> Before you know it, we're going to have bones that are rock solid. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm bump. You put it all together, and you're going to have yourself one strong bone. I don't know. Just one? Just one. That's all you get. <laughs> If you'd like to have a DVD copy of this program, send 1495 to Bringing Fitness to You, 8203 Westminster Road, Elkins Park, Pennsylvania. 19027. Be sure to indicate the show number. Let Sharon Pack, the area's most successful personal trainer, help you meet your fitness goals. Sharon brings the equipment and guidance to you, giving you a gym quality workout in the comfort and privacy of your home. If you're looking to achieve your personal best, contact Sharon Pack at 215-576-5758. That's 215-576-5758.